Hello and welcome back to another Star Citizen video and I would say you guys probably spot this a mile away. I know I spotted this already. Yep. The moment they have it in game, I was thinking, would they gonna market this and make it purchasable with real money? <laughs> the answer is yes, okay? The answer is yes. And this is the first non-vehicle, non-ship item in the game that you can buy the question all right the question which i need to i need to put it out loud okay i need to really say this and i need to admit why should i buy a non-ship non-vehicle um item in the game all right cosmetic that's that's probably arguable like the star citizen goodie pack normally like i said uh, skins i'm not bothered armor and weapon to us in general i'm not bothered vehicles in general i'm not bothered so technically the power suit is neither it's not a ship so technically i would say not bothered as well okay this is very very important for people who want to spend more money and at the same time big psa you do not need to spend money in order to enjoy star citizen all you need is a starter pack straight up okay that's the number one PSA. No need to buy any of this fancy stuff. They are all obtainable in-game. Now, let's take a look at Argo Astronautics ATLS. And one of the things is I cannot use the word Atlas because Atlas is already reserved for a weapon platform, literally a dedicated weapon platform, and a ship component. So I don't want to get mixed up. I'm just going to call it ATLS. And before we take a little bit deeper look, and especially at the price tag, don't forget to like, subscribe, hit the notification button and help this channel go. And let's check out this guy, right? This little power suit. Now, first thing first, all right? Remove the price tag and everything. It is great to see a power suit in the game because I am waiting for a Titan Mac suit and if they release that i think okay this is personally speaking right i think the titan max suit is one of the uh, exceptional where i can say okay you know what i could okay the word is i could right but do uh is it i should <laughs> uh, i could part some money in order to get the titan suit if it's relatively priced uh no Okay, I kind of messed it up, right? If it's priced, yeah, if it's priced correctly, okay. Yeah, I, I was finding a word like, how can I, what word do I say? Is it cheap? Because technically none of this price tag is cheap. That's the reason why the biggest PSA is we do not need to buy any of this other than the starter pack. Okay, so uh, let's see. We have a bespoke tractor system. Do we have anything else? Nothing only tractor system then why do we have two arms is this tractor and is is this hand carry or uh, in power suit carry question mark i really don't know yep so that's that uh do heavy lifting up to 32 scu this is good great uh, yeah it, it is a power suit what else can you do right what else can you do uh, design wise is okay it's normal that's the reason why I'm waiting for the Titan suit because that would be quite cool. Okay, more screenshots, factory standard, classic power. Sadly, there's no spec sheet in a way. So in this case, yeah, what you see is what you get. Nothing else, nothing more. Okay, now the question is, how much does it cost? Okay, previously I did say it should price around... Yeah, I... If, it, if I can get the PTV buggy price is the best price. I was saying around the Aurora ES to the Mustang Alpha, like like around here, the $30 mark. I know ah, you guys already see it. Oh, dang it. $35. <laughs> oh my goodness. Because I did say it should not be more than Dragonfly Black. Yeah, I totally forgotten the price. Oh, boo. <laughs> 
Boo, so it's $35 for a Warburn edition, $40 for a standalone, which is, in my opinion, is overpriced, okay? It is overpriced. It is something that you do not need it and you should not buy it. But if you want to upgrade, then the lifetime insurance is the perk that I like to see. And that's the only reason, right? The only reason why I can say, okay, you know what? It is purchasable for people who want to upgrade to more expensive ship. Now, before I do that, I need to, uh, why did I click? Okay, no game packages, merchandise, others. I want ship upgrades. Okay, this is the most important thing because can it upgrade to more expensive ship? Aurora ES. Oh, I don't. Oh, wait, $40. It's at the $40 mark. I don't see. Oh, we do have. We do have. ATLS. Okay, we do have. All right, that's it. Easy recommendation. The only reason why you want to get the ATLS is you want to get the ATLS because that's lifetime insurance, and then you upgrade to any of the ships that you want to. Like, for example, if you have a more expensive ship that you want to upgrade, which is like the Zeus. Oh, the Zeus is awesome, right? It is a ship that is a great. I won't say starter ship, but that is a great middle ground ship for multiplayer and single player. It literally replaces the Freelancer series, in my opinion. Yeah, if you have the C1 spirit, like C1 was and still is, oh no, no, I won't say still because Zeus is not out yet. So the C1 spirit is the current best daily driver ship. And I know you cannot get the C1 Spirit with lifetime insurance. So for those who want to get it, yeah, buy the ATLS and then upgrade to the C1 Spirit. Bam, done. Great. So that's the only reason why I would recommend that. Yeah, because if the ATLS does not have, don't, don't even bother with the store credit, right? Don't even bother. And paint, yeah, don't even bother. It's just not worth it. Yeah, yeah. why? Why? <laughs> why? Yeah, classic alien style color scheme, but ah, $35, $35. Yeah, really, I, I don't recommend. I really don't recommend it. Okay, so that's it. That's the Argo Astronautics ATLS, and it is... <laughs> uh, I have a feeling, okay, before I close the video or, or end the video, I have a feeling where CIG is trying okay to see what people are willing to buy and i would say out loud okay if you think the atls is not worth purchasing don't don't bother okay don't bother vote with your wallet and of course cig has a lot of uh, they already raised a lot of money that being said okay so that's why you only need a starter pack and i think that's the reason why people are calling it scam citizen is because people are putting more money on all this small little stuff and other people who is on the fence and do not know star citizen things that i need right i'm assuming um i put myself in their position and say oh do i need to buy all this thing in order to enjoy star citizen answer is no okay that's the biggest psa i would want to put out don't need to buy this if you are if you only need a small fleet of ships in fact if you are a solo player in general and you only need like one or two ships that you want to buy with real money yeah you, you already have a starter pack so that's that that's one ship already and another ship pick up the atls upgrade to done okay done because this is cheap enough to be an lti token if you really really want to spend money i'm a ship sucker i would probably get the atls and upgrade to more expensive ship anyway that's me i, I will not buy this and keep it in my hangar it's a no-brainer it's a no-brainer all right with that being said don't forget to like subscribe hit the notification button and help this channel grow and until then i will see you in the verse and fly safe Argo Astronautics ATLS. Who is it for? <laughs> Even if you're a cargo wrangler,
I really don't know. <gasps> wow. Yeah. LTI token, okay? LTI token.